this video is an introduction to myself, a bit about my background. I'll start with my interest in holistic therapies. I absolutely have explored loads of different therapies over the years. I really have benefited from meditation in particular, Vipassana meditation, which I started five years ago. And before that, my main things were journaling. I've trained as a yoga teacher in India and I taught yoga part-time for two years to adults. And then I trained as a kids yoga teacher and I taught that for a year or a year and a half prior to lockdown. I have done a massage course. I've gone to different dance, embodiment dance, conscious dance practices. I have enjoyed sound healing. I loved the Artist's Way book. I found a lot of benefit from that. I get biokinesiology done. And more recently, I've become interested in trauma in the body and somatic work. I'm getting biodynamic craniosacral therapy and reading a lot of books around that as well. Pretty sure there's more nonviolent communication. I've done a Reiki course. Yeah, it's done a lot of things and I um, absolutely love hearing about other therapies that I haven't heard of before. And um, it's quite amazing what's out there and the different ways that we can we can heal and help ourselves. Next is my background with coaching. I did my life and executive coaching course with Positive Success Group in Marino Institute of Education in Dublin. Great course. I so much personal development within it and I've really been coached so much this past few years whilst I've been coaching and it's I really believe in the power of of it. It's been very beneficial to me in my growth in self-awareness and in my ability to process things and move through things and um, evolve myself really. And my next thing is my teaching background. I was a primary school teacher for seven years in Athlone uh, around County Roscommon. I was mainly with junior infants which I absolutely loved. It was very fun and um, very wholesome I suppose, very creative. You, you have to be very present when you're teaching and very in tune with the, the class and with the energy and I mean just absolutely loved it. Then I started to become interested in alternative education models. I'm particularly interested in the Sudbury schools which I have a playlist on my website about. It's self-directed learning and it sees the child instead of trying to put information into them, you're holding space and facilitating um, an environment which is conducive to them directing their learning towards what they're interested in feels more aligned to me because it's an inside out approach. They're coming from the inside towards and bringing that into the world. That's education and teaching. Then business background is that I studied international business and languages, French and German at college in DCU in Dublin. I worked then as an executive marketing executive for Enterprise Ireland uh, in Stockholm for a year and a half. Then I went into teaching and then came back towards business and I have set up my business as it is right now, which have take has taken a few different shapes along the way. I, I was as everyone is at the st when they start their business, trying to figure out how to do this. And what I came across was a lot of very poor business practices and I've listed them there on the website and I've attended courses and what was taught at them often just did not sit right with me. It just didn't feel human in many ways or okay at all. The things that lots of people teach are around they're not phrased as such, but they are a manipulation or pressure or creating scarcity or inviting people for something and then changing the tone of it to be like a sales pitch in some way. There's lots of poor practices. I suppose that was really disheartening. And what the reason I share this is because thankfully I have come across some amazing mentors and that there is a more authentic, more genuine, more human way of doing business. That's my approach now. Very much about trusting the person who is a potential customer or client 
that they are whole and resourceful, capable of making the decision that's right for them without putting pressure in any way. The fun foundations of business most genuinely are just find out what people need help with, offer that and be really good at it. And you, you will have a solid business from there. Once you do the foundational work, a lot of the surface level noise and dodgy gimmick type things aren't needed. That's my business background. Then my own journey, as I said, I was teaching and then I felt finished with teaching in school. Some things weren't sitting right with me. I had this just strong inner knowing that I needed to do what had been in the back of my mind for many years. If anyone is watching this and is going through that transition phase where one part of your life is dropping away and the other part has yet to form that middle transition period, um, I, I know it well. And if it's of any benefit, what has worked for me has just been really trusting that my guidance will never lead me wrong. And while I couldn't see exactly how it would work out, I it, it did work out. It's like... In, a child and then an adult and then you're in that teenager phase when you're neither one nor the other. I just that period for me of not knowing and um, brought me to leaving my job as a teacher which I was permanent and literally heading off into the unknown. I went to Bali and Australia and New Zealand and um, to meditation centres I was serving and sitting at those which volunteering and working or volunteering at a, a yoga retreat center as well and just really meeting a lot of people who were um, living life on their own terms and doing very different things and it inspired me and gave me courage to go for it and just keep trusting that even though I don't know what's coming it will emerge and and it did um, and it continues to do so. That's all I have to say about that. I think at this moment I will finish up the video now and thanks for watching and being on my website.